everybody's having a good day this is october 27th 2017 i had a dream last night and the sun is shining right on me so if the light looks weird and it's kind of flickering little breezy out there and the sun is shining right here that's what it is but this dream I'm just going to read it. And I did dream, you know, that I was down the hill, you know, from the house I grew up in. And, you know, the fancy homes that were down below. And the name of that road that I was on simply means town or city. So I was down at the fancy homes you know, on the road that means town or city. And then a voice said this, and the next far will be called the Clarion Far. And it had something to do with California. And I woke up and that was the end of that dream. So, I haven't thought about that word clarion probably since I was a kid. I'd have no reason for it to be on my mind. Because I haven't watched it on TV, haven't seen it on the internet or anything. The only thing that I ever remembered the word associated with was, was makeup way back in the 80s. And the word clarol, I remember that. But that's all I knew about clarion. So I just thought, well, we'll just look the word up in the big dictionary. Come to find out that it was a word for like clarinet, but it was mainly used as a word to define trumpet. And then especially the name of the trumpet that they used to signal, you know, that war is coming. And that was what the word clarion meant and you know i kind of got thinking and that's not a normal dream for me to dream that because i ain't thought about that word in years and it rooted too as another signal war was coming and you know they used it for the trumpet and we'll just look at this did you see three times now with Harvey, Hurricane Harvey, Harvey Weinstein, now Lee Harvey Oswald. That's three times the word battle ready and blazing has come up. And California, you know, is a mystery of the head of gold. You know, which in Daniel's dream represented Babylon was the head of gold. And the image that he saw. You have the Golden Gate Bridge, the Golden State. Think like children, it's not hard to put this together. And you had all the fires burning everything up out there and there was this term called diablo winds and that means devil and you put two and two together sadly and you know god doesn't want anybody to perish and i'm gonna make a confession here about a dream i had in 2015 i hope that i've never had to say this but and I might as well cause it's coming to pass. And America, because she was proud and she thought she knew everything and didn't need God, I had this dream and twice in that dream and it was in 2015. It was, you know, sadly, I'm gonna allow the devil to have his way with America. And that's the truth. And I'll still tell you, it's not what God wanted. It's not what Jesus wants. And that's just the fruit of what sin does. And 
Babylon has sinned against the Lord and so have I sinned and never ever take my word for something. Always judge that to God's word yourself and you know any word you know is subject to judgment you know by somebody else and confirmation is what matters. That's the sad thing. And clarion, when we sum it up, it means a war trumpet. I think it was derived from clarinet. You know, a trumpet. Battle's coming, war's coming. So now, we'll just look at this thing from back in 2001. I've talked a little bit about it, but I hadn't really said a whole lot about it. It's Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 10. But I'm going to start in verse 9. And all the people shall know, even Ephraim and the inhabitant of Samaria, who say in pride and stoutness of heart, verse 10, the bricks are falling down, but we will build with hewn stones, and the sycamores are cut down, and we will change them into cedars. Isaiah 9, 11, Therefore the Lord shall set up the adversaries of resin against him and join his enemies together. And those three right there, that just simply goes back to ancient Assyria. And look at the devastation in Syria. Now, it's bombed out and a lot of it's in heaps. And... That verse, you know, in plain English, just to make it easy to understand, you know, the pride of America and the stoutness of her heart, you know, when they, our government and leaders, 2001, vowed that on September 12th, 2001, that verse, they pronounced judgment on us. I'm just telling the truth. It ain't what you want to hear, but they pronounced judgment on us. And that vow... Donald Trump is still saying it today. I've seen him two or three times do it with these hurricanes. He's saying that same thing. We will rebuild. We're strong. And America thinks she knows it all. She don't. And, and you know, the devil has done a horrible work. And it's just not good. And I'm telling the truth about it. And you know, the bricks were, you know, weak compared to stone. You know, the bricks are falling down, we'll rebuild with hewn stone. Not looking at, well, why would God allow this to happen? They just say, we'll get back to normal and we'll forget about it. And you know, the mulberry trees, you know, or the sycamore trees, it refers to the prosperity has been cut down but we have suffered moderate, dam moderate damage. We don't need to look at it. And we'll get back to normal. And it'll be way better than it was before without changing the course of action. And that's what it is. And the Lord was trying to say something. And, and you know, sin lets the devil in. And, you know, America's enemies will be stirred up. So let's look at one more thing here. Another thing. Let's look at Agenda 21. I'll just read Agenda 21. Isaiah 21. The fall of Babylon, Medo-Persia, the spoiler. 21 and 1. The burden of the desert sea as whirlwinds in the south Passed through, so it comes from the desert, a terrible land. Verse 2, a grievous vision is declared unto me, a treacherous dealer deals treacherously, and the spoiler spoils. Go up, O Elam, besiege, O Media. Media, I think, means middle. And all the saying thereof I have made to cease. You know, that's what will come to that. And that's Agenda 21. You know the real thing about it. Just look at this other thing. The South in that thing, 
down as south on the map, and hell is down. God dwells in the sides of the north. It's up. So think like children. He's got it where he can figure this stuff out. And America's going to be judged tremendously for not knowing who she was and, you know, denying the truth of who she was. And I'm just telling the truth about it. And Let's just look at this. Area 51, that county out there in Nevada, shaped like a hammer. And you know Babylon, you know, I look at Jeremiah 51, 21, you know, break in pieces, verse after verse, break in pieces. And then in verse 51, 25 of Jeremiah, the 24th book. And a panel in heaven has 24 on it, so just put two and two together. 51.25 Behold, I am against you, O destroying mountain, saith the Lord, which destroyed all the earth. I will stretch out my hand upon you and roll you down from the rocks and will make you a burnt mountain. Well, look at the hell they just had in Santa Rosa out there. And it's awful. And 26, And they shall not take of you a stone for a corner, nor a stone for a foundation, but you shall be desolate forever, saith the Lord. That's what will happen in Babylon. It's not what everybody wants to hear. I'm just telling the truth about it because nobody else will. And I know hell is real. And if you don't know what hell looks like, he gave me a dream on hell 2015 and his anger toward Babylon. This is all I saw was a mountain of newspapers and they were glowing cherry red. And then a voice said the snakes are out or it should say the devils are out. And so I looked, the whole ground, everything around me turned cherry red. I mean, everything was cherry red. And that was hell. And, and you know, Diablo winds or devil winds, you know, causing a 200 mile long fire storm out, you know, in the head of gold, the Golden State, that's a sign there. And now Harvey has come up three times, two or three witnesses a thing be established. And I'm just saying it is what it is. And we don't have a pretty picture here. And still the truth again, Jesus doesn't, doesn't want people to perish. And the reason they perish is, is sin and you know, ignoring his signs and and I'm saying they need to watch North Korea, Pyongyang, and they need to watch China because I had two dreams and I'll just tell what I heard. China will anger over America's debt and they'll attack us. And then it said, North Korea, you don't want their sickness. You don't want their sickness from hell, you know, and that's basically, you know, what it means to get nuked, and it's all a sad picture of hell, and I'm just telling the truth about it, and hell is an awful place, and hell is real, and I'm being honest with you about it, and everything the Bible says about hell is real, and you have seen a little bit of death and hell. Sadly, out in California, and the only way to remedy that problem is choose Jesus Christ and ask Him into your heart so your house don't burn and you stay out of the fires 
And I'll be honest with you, I feel like I'm one of the worst ones, and if anybody deserves to be in hell, it's me because I've done bad things in my life, and I don't deserve the favor of salvation. And the next far, I dream, you know, closing this thing out, it's called the Clarion Thar that I dreamed last night, and that same place the other night, about a week ago, same exact place, I dreamed that they were pushing all the trees down, cutting them down, getting ready to push all the limbs up and burn them and bury them. And far as far as what it means, simply, trees are people, trees are cities, those are forests in the Bible, and far as far as that's that's what it means that's what this sign means and i'm telling the truth and i'm sorry about everything that lost everything choose jesus get it all back and go to heaven and stay out of the fires everybody has a blessed day and that's a hard video for me to make and one i didn't like to make but i'm accountable for the words I say and have to tell a horrible truth. 